Gentlemen, fellow unbelievably wealthy bankers, today we gather in an effort to fight a common evil. In my many years as an unbelievably wealthy banker, I have seen many threats to our way of business, but we have managed to crush them all. We have kept the financial market volatile. Thank you, Beijing. We've made the stock market impossibly difficult for average humans to understand what with all of the corporate symbols and bells and incomprehensible hand signals. Thank you, New York. But now we face our greatest and most tenacious adversary. Mr. Smith. What? Time for me? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, <clears throat> uh, credit unions uh, is what he was referring to, I think. Uh, what with the whole tenacious evil, what have you, adversary thing. Uh, anyway, uh, crazy. I know. Uh, credit unions, they're everywhere. <laughs> Seems like more every day. More every day. Okay, good. Your findings. Oh, right, right. <clears throat> right. Credit unions, bringing the financial Armageddon, one member at a time. How, you might ask? Networks, using the same power of the network we've seen throughout history. The, uh, the pyramid, not one stone, but a network of many stones forming, well, a pyramid. You've probably seen one. Uh, in the animal kingdom, uh, not one lion, but a, a network of ferocious beasts uh, collectively collecting their outnumbered lunch. <gasps> My goodness. Um, sorry, London, about the graphic nature of that. <clears throat> but the networks, be they stones, uh, lions, or, or credit unions, have a chilling effect. The network, one becomes many, and many become strong. Now, the credit union is a network of its members. And that doesn't sound so bad, right? But who are these members? Are they unbelievably wealthy bankers? No. No, they are ordinary, average, common people. Seriously, London, get a hold of yourself. These ordinary people are uh, taking ownership. They are having a say. They are controlling their financial destinies. Uh, okay, good. Uh, what about the financial Armageddon you spoke of? Oh, oh, right, 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 right. Uh, it, it's quite simple, really. Uh, it's the, the, the power of the network. Uh, one credit union is a network of its members, uh, using the network strategy to give its members more power. But what if the credit unions themselves begin using that same network strategy? Well, let me show you what could happen. Before banks, there was nothing. Then banks arrived. This is lovely, said the big lion bank. Uh, water, grass, money. Uh, everything was perfect and peaceful because of banks. And all of the other animals were very happy. They're happy on the inside. Uh, but then the nasty zebra credit unions arrived. But one zebra alone is no match for a big lion bank. But uh-oh. What's that behind the rock? It's, it's another nasty zebra credit union. And oh, what's been hiding underwater the whole time? That's right, credit unions can swim. Uh, and, and next thing you know, oh, the big lion bank is surrounded by a, a network of, of zebra credit unions. And, and we all know what happens next, don't we, London? The zebra's eating the, the banks and the, the credit unions are they're winning. Any questions? Zebras don't eat meat. Really? Uh, uh, but they could. I mean, if, if they had to. Uh, I just, I thought it would help illustrate my point better if they were eating the banks. Uh, uh. I've seen enough, Mr. Smith. 
In your professional opinion, sir, how long until this financial Armageddon? Uh, well, we are we're safe for now, and as long as no one helps organize the credit unions to uh, to band together, we are we are doing just fine. And no one's doing this. I don't think so. 